So let's just settle <clears throat> and just bring your mind to the same place your body is. So whatever has been going on for you today, however it is you're showing up now, just know that it is okay, that you don't have to be anything other than where you're at right now. So just kind of settle and check your feet. If you're sitting in a chair, make sure they're in a parallel position, maybe slightly raised knees slightly hips width apart and sits bones are raised shoulders aligned with the hips and imagine your your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head you can imagine someone's above you just lengthening that spine Maybe imagine someone also has maybe slightly holding the tips of your ears very gently lengthening your neck, so very gently pulling you. And the head is very slightly tipped forward, eyes are down looking along the length of the nose with the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And relax the jaw. Bring your attention, your awareness to the crown of the head and relax the scalp. And the forehead and the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth. And the back of the head, the scalp there. Relax your ears, the inner ear, and the temples. And relax the jaw. And bring your awareness to the back of the neck. Just release any tension there. Allow your shoulders to drop down, your shoulder blades to release and relax and drop down. Relax the throat, the chest, and the belly, limbs, hands, fingers, and feet and toes. And bring the mind to the breath. And just notice the sensation of the air as you're inhaling and exhaling. It's a little bit cooler as you're breathing in. When we are starting to meditate, we focus on the breath because it's what we're doing all the time and it's the easiest thing to focus on, for many people anyway. So just notice if there are any sounds in your environment. So our crickets have gone quiet now. It's getting cooler, it's much cooler in the evenings than it was before I left. So whatever it is that's in your environment that's attracting your attention, just very gently bring the mind back. And notice if there are any thoughts arising in your mind. Well, there will be thoughts, but what are they? And then don't judge them, just allow them to arise and if you don't give them much energy don't follow them don't engage they will just flow on so you can sit back like a, you're a, a scientist an objective observer just watching those thoughts arise abide and fall can sit on the bank of our river and just watch that river flow on by without getting wet, without getting dragged away, without drowning. And as long as we're staying on the bank of the river, we're free from that river. So 
We bring your mind back to the breath. And bring to mind people in your life. So you can start with the ones who you love, your beloveds, the people that we have constructive and functional relationships with, mostly. They could be your spouses or your children, your dearest friends. These could be family and cousins, mothers, fathers. And then those, those people in your life who you have a certain degree of difficulty with, ranging from slight annoyance to, you know, they've harmed you so you stay away. And then there's people in your life you just don't know. Well, they're strangers, we pass them every day. The moment we step outside our house, we run into people we don't know. But they have lives and loves, sadness, happiness. They are people. And so we understand that they can all change place at any time, this friend, this enemy and this stranger. And perhaps a stranger has become a very, very close friend for you over the past year. Perhaps someone you didn't like has become someone now you're very fond of. Maybe a dear friend is now a stranger. So these relationships are, for the most part, impermanent. They can change due to karma. So bring to mind all these people of our life. I think we'll do this meditation for them dedicate for them and for all sentient beings this purification practice so remembering there is no negativity that cannot be purified so there's nothing you've done that's so awful that we can't deal with so we start with the power of regret so sincerely regret from the depths of the heart anything you have done to harm any living being on this day or in this life or in all past lives and think of specific actions of both your body and your speech and then in general regret all. And the reason we regret is based on this logic of karma. We experience everything due to our past karma, our past actions and so having harmed others we ourselves will necessarily experience suffering in the future. And given that we know what it is like to experience suffering, we probably don't want to attract any more. So logically we remove, we want to remove the karmic seeds before they ripen as future suffering for us. So think, I regret from the depths of my heart having harmed others with my body and my speech, having broken my vows, because I do not want the future suffering, I'm sick of suffering, and also regret any anger, an attachment and the rest that are the cause of why we harm others and think again I'm sick of this suffering and then think what can I do about it whom can I turn to so here we come to the power of reliance and first of all we take refuge and we turn to the Buddha the doctor who has the methods that we can use to purify so we're not necessarily wanting or needing Buddha to forgive us in fact, we don't want that. That's not what we're asking here. We're purifying ourselves by relying upon his methods. So you can imagine Vajrasattva above the crown of your head, about a couple of inches above the crown of your head, and facing the same way as you. You can also imagine this is your teacher manifesting in this form for your benefit. And he's made of radiant blissful white light sitting cross-legged on a white lotus and this lotus although born out of mud is untainted by that mud just like our potential born out of our delusions our enlightened potential yet untainted by them 
So he has this beautiful, radiant face. His eyes are kind of lengthways, they're long, shaped like lotus petals. And they're very peaceful and full of love and compassion for you and all those people of your life. He has a sweet red mouth. His hair is black and held up in a top knot. His arms are crossed at his heart, the left. Underneath the right, the left is holding a bell representing wisdom. And the right is holding a vajra, which represents the indestructibility of compassion. And there being crossed represents the union of these two, which symbolizes enlightenment itself, the development of infinite wisdom and infinite compassion. And to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Vajra Sattva, may I reach Buddhahood, so as to develop, to develop all, to benefit all sentient beings. So then we have this little section on compassion, developing compassion. And in order to develop compassion, <clears throat> we need to rely upon other beings. So, the very beings we have harmed. Let's start with that, and then those who have harmed us. So think particularly of someone you may have harmed recently, or you know, it could be in a small way, you hurt their feelings. And then in the past, and then in general, all beings we have ever harmed since beginning this time. And then remember people who have harmed you. It may be a little bit more difficult to have compassion for them, but because of the harm they've caused you, they're going to suffer in the future. And the time that they will suffer is, is not clear. The length of time they'll suffer is not clear and the extent to which they'll suffer is not clear. It could be most inconvenient, so make a strong aspiration to do this practice of purification for the sake of all these sentient beings and think, I must purify for their sake. So next we come to the power of the remedy, and this is the actual medicine doing the practice of purification. And we start with the body. And imagine Bhadrasapa very compassionately sending powerful white nectar like coming out of a hose quite forcefully from his heart and this arcs around and enters your crown and pours into your entire body filling you completely and he keeps pouring into you until it forces out of your lower orifices all the harm you have ever done to any living with, being with your body in the form of inky liquid and this pours out of you and disappears into space not one atom left as we recite the mantra Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempiyata Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagavan Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabhava Maha Samaya Sattva Ahom Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anaracta mebowa, sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ha ho bhagavan, sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa mahatsamaya sata a hum pe, vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita, dida mebowa, sutokaya mebowa, supokaya mebowa, Anarakta mebowa, sawa siddhi mempi yata sawa kama sita me, sitam shriyam kuru hum ha ho bhagavan, sawa Tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita. Dida me bowa sutokaya me bowa sipokaya me bowa. Anarakta me bowa sawa siddhi me piyata sawa kama sita me. Sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan. Sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe. Vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina Dina Patita, Dida Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Supokaya Mebowa, Anarakta Mebowa, Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum, Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajramami Mutsa Vajrabawa, Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe, Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya, Vajrasapa Dina Patita, Dida Mebowa, Sutokaya Mebowa, Supokaya Mebowa, Anarakta Mebowa, Sawa Sidi Mempi Yata Sawa Kama Sita me sitam shriyam kuru hum ha 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 ho bhagavan sawa tata gata vajrama me mutza vajrabawa maha samaya sattva a hum pe vajrasapa samaya manupalaya vajrasapa dina patita 
Dido me boa, suto caio me boa, supo caio me boa, anorecta me boa, sawa sidi me piato sawa kama sita me, sitam shriam kuru hum ha ho bagoan, sawa tata gata vajra mame mutza vajra bawa maha samaya sata a hum pe. So be delighted that all the harm you've ever done <coughs> to any sentient being with your body is now completely purified and think there is no way you could do anything but benefit others now with your body. And the next is a purification of speech and this time Bhajrasapa very happily sends powerful nectar from his heart chakra and this kind of arcs around and enters your crown quite forcefully filling your entire body except this time forcing up to the top of your body all the negativity of your speech and this overflows and disappears into space, not one atom left. So you can just imagine that, like, you know, when you have a maybe a glass of yogurt or milk that you've finished and it's in the sink and you fill it up with water to clean it or soak it, kind of all the fatty junk floats up to the surface and sort of overflows. So it's the same here. You can just imagine all the junk floating to the top parts of the body and overflowing except quite forcefully overflowing. Maybe Lamaza Primashe says, as I've said before, and like same force as a wind, as wind blowing a hat off your head. You could also imagine maybe a whale spouting water, something like that. So you can imagine that all the gossip and the harsh speech and useless speech and lying, talking about others behind their backs and all of this is purified by the powerful nectar filling you and overflowing as you recite the mantra. Om Bhajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Bhajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mempi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Pay. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pei Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mebawa Sutokaya Mebawa Supokaya Mebawa Anarakta Mebawa Sawa Siddhi Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sitta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mame Mutza Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So again feel so happy that your speech is now completely purified and imagine it's not possible to do anything other than benefit others now with your speech. So every syllable that falls out of your mouth is a benefit to anyone who hears it. And the next is a purification of the mind. Vajrasattva now very compassionately sends powerful beams of light from his heart chakra and this arcs around and enters your crown 
and fills your entire being. So it's just the same as when you walk into a pitch black room and you switch on a light. Um, the darkness of that room is instantly dispelled. So same here. The moment the light from Vajrasattva's heart touches your heart, all the darkness of the negativity of your mind, so all your depression, anxiety, and anger, and bitterness, and jealousy, and sort of not feeling enough, feeling down in yourself and resentments, <clears throat> grudges, all instantly dispelled, not one atom left as you recite the mantra. Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawasidi Mipiyata Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutta Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satra A Hum Pe Om Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anarakta Recta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anurakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sutta Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Supokaya Mibawa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha Ha Ho Bhagawan, Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe, Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita, Dita Mibawa, Sutokaya Mibawa, Supokaya Mibawa, Anarakta Mibawa, Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me, Sitam Shriyam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anurakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum so again, be delighted, all your delusions, which are the source of all of our own suffering, our own delusions, and the cause of why we harm others with our body and our speech, are totally gone, they're purified. And think now there's no space in your heart for anything other than love and kindness and forgiveness and wisdom and bliss and compassion. So now we purify the pr imprints of negativity of body, speech and mind. So you imagine that Vajrasattva again sends light and nectar. Excuse me. And if you wish you can do a couple of, you can recite a couple of mantras for of the visualizations we've just done, the body, speech and mind. Or else you can just imagine light and nectar pouring in, filling you completely and eradicating even the subtlest imprints of negative energy from your mind. Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anarakta Mibawa Sawa Sidi Mimpi Yatsa Sawa Kama Sita Me Sitam Shriyam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bhagawan Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Satva A Hum Pe Vajrasapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajrasapa Dina Patita Dita Mibawa Sutokaya Mibawa Supokaya Mibawa Anarakta 
Tractor Mabel was Sawa City, Mimpy Yatta Sawa Kama Sita May Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago and Sawa Tata Gata Baja Mami Mutsa Baja Bawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hum Pe and Baja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Baja Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mabel was Sitokaya Mabel was Sipokaya Mabel was An Erecta Mabel was Sawa City, Mimpy Yatta Sawa Kama Sita May Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago and Sawa Tata Gata Baja Mami Mutsa Baja Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hom Pe Um Baja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Baja Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mabel was Sutokaya Mabel was Sipokaya Mabel was Anarakta Mabel was Sawa City, Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita May Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago and Sawa Tata Gata Baja Mami Mutsa Baja Bawa Maha Samaya Sata A Hom Pe Um Baja Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Baja Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mabel was Sutokaya Mabel was Sipokaya Mabel was Anarakta Mabel was Sawa City, Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita May Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago and Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mabel was Sutokaya Mabel was Sipokaya Mabel was Anarakta Mabel was Sawa City, Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita May Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hom Pe Vajra Sapa Samaya Manupalaya Vajra Sapa Dina Patita Dida Mabel was Sutokaya Mabel was Sipokaya Mabel was Anarakta Mabel was Sawa City, Mimpi Yatta Sawa Kama Sita May Sitam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago An Sawa Tata Gata Vajra Mami Mutsa Vajra Bawa Maha Samaya Sattva A Hum Pe So now feel you're completely purified. Not one atom of negativity left in your mind stream. Even the subtlest obscurations to omniscience have been removed. And next is the power of resolve. And this is the fourth and very crucial step, is this decision we make to not harm uh, with our body and our speech and our mind. So without making a decision like this, we're just going to keep doing the same old stuff over and over again because we have habits and we're human and we have karmic imprints. So we make a decision. Just think of something simple, easy to work on, something that's doable, a timeline that's doable, even if it's just holding off from eating that chocolate chip cookie for an hour if it harms you, even if it is just refraining from talking about the person that you're constantly obsessed with at the moment for five hours or eight hours overnight while you're sleeping or one minute, whatever it is you can do, just think I'll just refrain from that thing that's harmful to either myself or others. And this determination to not do again is what gives us the strength to change. And Vajrasapha is delighted with you. And then wanting to merge with your mind melts into white light it just kind of dissolves into you through your crown and absorbs into you. And think my guru's body, speech and mind, and Vajrasattva's body, speech and mind, and my own body, speech and mind are the same thing, and Lama Yeshi calls this union oneness. So next, Rinpoche recommends to meditate on the emptiness of the three circles. In emptiness, there is no I, the creator of negative karma, there is no action of creating negative karma, and there is no negative karma created. So at whatever level you understand emptiness or you've studied emptiness, just place your mind there for a moment. And this way we can think of all phenomena as being empty. They do not exist from their own side. You can also think that the way things are appearing to you, people, tables, emails, certain situations, may not be the way they actually exist. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created doing this purification to all living beings and think, may all the virtuous karma of creator from doing this practice ripen as my enlightenment for the sake of sentient beings as quickly as possible. 
for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And for Lama Zoparimbashe, Tub <laughs> Dog so dulje gondu jab ten shok. And for Lama Ursel, Venerable One, to you whose kindness exceeds that of all the conquerors for those wanderers and far off places, especially the West, mindful of your loving concern for us in intentionally descending again into a family of a far distant land, we make this request, O Lama, please, please live long. Because you share a beloved teacher leading your students toward wisdom and compassion, explaining through exacting discernment the steps of the graduated path, you are the unequaled guide. Please live a long and stable life. So there we are, gone like a dream. So nice to be practicing with you all again. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mary, for hosting. And lots of love, everybody. I'll see some of you tomorrow morning. Okay, bye-bye.